Yeah, I know it sounds a bit weird, but sometimes I think I cried my way to success. Hear me out. The anti-law of attraction, which is a silly name I came up for this video, is named so because its approach to manifesting what you want is in a lot of ways the opposite of what we've been taught in the law of attraction space. And I would argue that it's quicker, easier, more effective, and more authentic if like many of my audience, you have been skeptical, suspicious about the common law of attraction teachings and haven't had much success or even think they might be a bit toxic and you want a more authentic approach to the joys of reality shifting and creation, then this video is for you and it could change your entire life for the better. You see, the common law of attraction teachings tend to teach that like attracts like, right? And cultivating positive thoughts and emotions will attract positive experiences, while negative thoughts and feelings can attract unfavorable outcomes and are a signal to move up to a high vibration where you have to stay in for a sustained period in order to manifest your dreams or it will all come crashing down. And whilst some law of attraction teachings give some piecemeal advice about accepting so-called negative feelings, they're still positioned as something negative, unhelpful, lower on the emotional hierarchy, and something to be managed and transcended out of, just like so-called negative thoughts, which must be replaced with positive thoughts and gleeful gratitude and rampages of robotic affirmations. And whilst peaceful, grateful and loving thoughts and feelings can, yes, be certainly correlated with pleasurable manifestations, what if this peace, gratitude and love can't be cultivated because it's already your true nature? What if all this trying to force positivity, trying to be hyper aware and micromanage all your thoughts and feelings just leads to more anxiety and less pleasurable manifestation? What if embracing and transmuting your dark side is actually the key to manifesting what truly resonates with your infinite creative heart? What a lot of us don't realize yet is it's not the embracing and experiencing of these so-called negative thoughts and emotions that's blocking our manifestation. It's the resistance to them and the suppression of them. I discovered this myself in the beginning stages of my business. I mean, I was taught to stay in a high vibration and get in the vortex and stay grateful all the time and just flow. And I was doing everything right. I made a vision board and kept my gratitude lists and walked around my apartment chanting I am affirmations, trying to overwrite my fearful thinking until I was blue in the face. And I'm not saying that none of this was helpful. It can certainly be fun and empowering and help keep the focus on the goal when you're exercising thinking that's in line with your vision and you have some visual cues as colorful reminders. Sometimes I would get into the flow and crack out a few good projects, but at some point I'd always inevitably hit a wall. I'd try to work and I just couldn't. I'd be feeling this huge resistance to even starting and a strange anxiety and tension in my body. And no matter how many Red Bulls I chugged and how many good feeling thoughts I tried to cultivate and chant, it wouldn't work and I'd have to lie down on my bed eventually for three days just to get going again. Eventually I learned and realized that something was definitely off. Something was being forced. Something was being overlooked. One day I was feeling so much resistance and tension that I just had to stop and I thought, fuck it, throw it all away. Take the pressure off. I don't care anymore. I don't care if I do nothing. I lay on my bed and went back to the only things that ever seemed to consistently work and the only things that ever seemed to be consistently true. Meditation, non-duality, and simply being. Although, side note, I wasn't talking about non-duality that much back then and was more on this kind of personal development and energy transmutation kind of vibe. Anyway, so I lay there. Again, just sinking into the bed and feeling all of the energetic sensations in my body. And I thought, okay, bring it on. Give me all you've got. Let's just feel and be with all of these feelings and all of this discomfort. 
If there's so-called negative thoughts and fearful thoughts, so be it. They're there. Just let them do their thing. I'm just going to lay here watching it all, feeling it all, and just be. If the Alex feels scared, shitless, thinking about the bank account, then let him be scared shitless. If he feels disappointed, his creative efforts don't seem to be getting appreciated and paying off, then let him feel the shame and disappointment. Let's feel it all, knowing my true self as the presence in which it's all arising, undisturbed by it all. And to my surprise, eventually something seemingly strange happened. The emotional physical sensations in the body got to this extreme point of intensity and then something snapped or something broke and I just started to burst out crying. And whilst I was crying and feeling all this so-called negative emotion flowing through my body, I realized at the same time it was oddly pleasurable. With every sob and wail, I would feel a little bit more relieved, a little lighter in my body. And so I just cried and cried and cried, and I embraced and let out so many emotions over those three days. And of course, my mind was saying the whole time, but you're not getting anything done. You're just laying here. You're not doing anything. You need to keep doing things to keep the success you want. But the relief I was feeling in my body was so palpable, I suspected the mind was talking rubbish and that something here was shifting. Of course, after all of that emotional processing and outpouring, I felt quite exhausted and I slept like a log that night. However, when I woke up in the morning, three new potential coaching clients had booked calls and all three of them ended up enrolling. It was like, what the hell? I've done almost nothing over the past week and yet I appear to have had more success than when I was hammering away with massive action. Of course, the deeper part of me knew what was going on. I had been holding all of this suppressed emotion, attachment and personalization in my body. A few huge layers of it had been released. I was simply being again, being impersonal, just being aware. And the universe, which is really the larger part of ourself, was reflecting back that shift and freedom. On the relative plane, things have evolved and opened a lot since then, but I still remember that day when it was all finally let go of and the power of being and fully feeling was finally fully recognized. Recently, I made a detailed video about exactly how to release trapped emotions from the body, which I'll link to at the end of this video. And it should be an inspiring follow on if you're willing to keep your attention with this transformative approach. But here's an ultra short form for those of you needing to dash onto your next task. First, drop the judgment. In fact, recognize the judgment to be thoughts and not who you really are, for you are the awareness as which these thoughts and emotions appear. They're not negative or positive, they're just energy wanting to move. Second, locate where you feel the emotion in your body. It might be a knot in your stomach, tension in your chest or nervousness in your belly. Get underneath all those labels and simply feel the raw physically felt sensation. Third, and this is crucial, instead of trying to change it, bring them to loving awareness by being in the spirit of openness and welcoming. Notice yourself as this accepting, non-resistant space in which it all appears. Breathe into it and let it be exactly as it is and watch it as it intensifies and moves. And as you do this, you might find the emotion intensifies before it releases. It's normal. You're finally giving it permission to move. If corresponding thoughts and images appear along the process, simply notice yourself as the awareness that allows them to appear and disappear without a trace. The magic happens when you realize you're not just these thoughts and emotions. They are part of the appearance, but they're not essential to you. You're this infinite space of awareness that they're happening as. This is the true you. This is your true creative power. This is the manifesting power of the universe. And as 
this space of total welcoming and acceptance that embraces both your light and shadow, manifestation becomes natural. Creative flow ramps up in the hours and days after feeling and releasing and reality shifts happen. Not because you're forcing reality to bend to your will, but because the contracted energy has been allowed to flow through, revealing more of the natural beingness and the manifesting power that was already there and already you. You'll find yourself taking inspired action, not from desperation or fear, but from a place of authentic power. And your relationships will deepen because you're finally being truly real. And most importantly, what manifests won't be just your ego shopping list or what the thought said you needed, but what will be truly aligned with your true nature and your heart's desires. Remember, there's no emotional scale. It's all simply appearances of awareness. There's no high and low vibrational emotions and people. This was propagated as a misnomer or a way to keep you feeling unenlightened and out of reach of so-called conscious high vibrational beings. There is no need to push away low vibrations and cultivate high vibrations. All vibration has its source in your very own being. All vibration is the vibration of the universe and the universe is your true nature, embracing it all. Your dark side isn't your enemy, it's the other side of the duality. The true nature of reality embraces both. It's non-dual in nature. It's the other half of your creative power that's been waiting to be acknowledged, not indulged in and not pushed away, just lovingly acknowledged, transmuted and released. When you embrace it all by recognizing that you are the embrace itself, that's when the real magic happens. Now, if you want to dive deeper into this truly transformational approach, watch my video, How to Release Trapped Emotions from the Body, here. Peace.